Why, hello there. Spooky season is upon us, and I've decided what better way to do it than with a little taste of some horror-related games. Now don't be afraid. I don't even know what's gonna go in here. <laughs> I don't even know what this game's about. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Gavi Gaming, and today I'm here playing some The Monster Inside. It's free on Steam for Mac and, and Windows, I think. And I have no clue about this game, but it says here, I just opened it up, that it's an audiovisual novella, so... I, I don't know, maybe it'll be fun, maybe it'll be scary. Who knows? Let's pass this experience together! Now without further ado, let's get right into it. My head pounded, ears still ringing slightly. Some of the worst nightmares I'd had in years left me feeling like I'd have been punched in the jaw. But just like any other day, I dragged myself to the office. Ooh. Very cute design. There was another notice on the floor from Mayor Vinetti's office. Permits out of date. They didn't like me much, and we were trying to drown in paperwork. Why did I speak like this? It was a slow month. Weeks since I had any real case to work on. So I passed the time pacing the office, smoking and starting the mirror, staring at the mirror in the corner, safely covered with an old bed of sheets. Can I click on this? Does this do anything? No? No? Okay. No, it does not. It does not do anything. I don't dare look at my own reflection. I'm too afraid of what I might see, afraid someday I might have to face what I really am. The girl came in so quiet, I nearly choked on my cigarette. Ah, crap, it's a girl's voice. <coughs> uh, mister, please, you gotta help me, mister. Alright. Calm down, sit down, talk slow. Yeah, what can I help you with? You're here with Naka first. <laughs> um, I haven't had anyone so okay. Please, no one else will listen to me. Go on. She eyed me with just a dash of suspicion, and has tossed back a handful of pills and chased them with a swig of whiskey. I could tell this might take a while. Her name was Lily. Mmm, Lily. She told me she was his mistress. The man all over the newspapers, infamous banker, Mr. Reginald Farnsworth. Is this game about Futurama? <laughs> Mr. Farnsworth was drunk. Philandering bastard, but this girl seemed genuinely concerned that he had recently gone missing. Less concerned about the fact that Mr. Fonswood's wife had just turned up dead in Central Park two nights ago. Mm. You don't understand. He just couldn't have done it. He hated his wife, but he couldn't have killed her. Everyone thinks it was him, no one believes me. He's gotta be in trouble. I ain't saying I believe you, but what makes you think he's in danger? Well, Mr. Um... Mm. Jack. Jack. You can call me Jack. Jack? Whoever did that to his wife must have been the one who took him. He would have never left without me. He promised me. I'm sure Mr. Fawn was or promised the poor girl a lot of things. God damn. Please, go 
cops won't listen to me and they want to bring him in charges. You gotta prove it wasn't him before they find him. Honestly, I doubt they're in too much of a hurry. Farnsworth had practically the entire police force in his deep pockets. Probably why they hadn't found them yet. If they found them and brought them in, they would have due to public pressure. Sometimes the mob with pitchforks is more dangerous than one man with money. You've got my curiosity, but you might not like what I find. I can help you. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry now. I'm, I'm, I'm depressed, so I'm going to say that. Oh, thank you, mister. J Jack, thank you. But please be careful. I don't think this was just any murderer or kidnapper. I think, I think it was the... The purple guy. <laughs> the man behind the slaughter. Uh, a beast. Isn't, wait, isn't this the entire plot to Beauty and the Beast? Like, if you take Belle away, isn't that just Beauty and the Beast? Beast. The word struck me funny. Like when you jaw your arrow ball in a hard corner funny. Not a word used since these days, except in hushed whispers and bedtime stories for children. Oh, they were real enough, alright. They just got better at hiding, controlling their unseemly urges. But I hadn't seen any monsters in nearly 15 years, back when I was still a cop myself. Well, that's definitely an interesting theory. I can help. We'll get to the bottom of this, don't you worry now. Leave the detective word to me, toots. Let's not jump to conclusions here. I, I just have a feeling about it. Something tells me you can get to the bottom of it. You're good at this sort of thing, right? Sure, toots. Can't you see how busy I am with cases? I replied a little too harshly. Sarcasm wasn't my strongest suit. I reassured her some more and sent her on her way. I didn't want to scare her, but I warned her before she left the doors and called me if she saw anything suspicious. I didn't know if she was in any danger herself, but better safe than sorry. The night I made my way down to Central Park, it was a long shot, but maybe there was something there the cops missed. Alright. So this is how it's gonna be, huh? I hope there's more to it than just... At least more visuals than just this. Before I continue the ambience in this, I love it. It's a little loud because I'm using different earbuds though. That's on my end, and I can't lower it down. Alright. The scene was already picked clean by the cops days ago. But I got a knack for finding things over the look. Oh lordy! It's a murder! Hey, look at the flies. A neck. More of a symptom of a condition. Other less useful symptoms I kept in check. But for the time being, my keen sense and smell would come in handy. Hmm. It was faint, but I could smell it before I even approached the police line. And I, it's 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 here. It's here. I can tell it's here. They put they put some type of head or finger in here. I can tell it. <laughs> There's flies here. The scent was less of a thing, more of an emotion. Seduction. Mm, I like what this is going. A strangely familiar smell. I expected the sense of trepidation or maybe outright fear, but Mr. Farnsworth, but Mrs. Farnsworth seemed to have been at the height of pleasure when she left this world. Well, at least she went out in the blaze of glory. Brought new meaning to a crime of passion. Pushing the thought from my mind, it was time to get down to business. Investigate the scene. Click. Click. Click this. Click that. Oh, okay. 
muddy footprints everywhere. Difficult to pick out or anything with the prints the cops left behind in their haste. But cops don't wear $2,000 pairs of carquinos. Jesus! $2,000? What the hell? Jesus! It looked like Mr. Fonz was there that night. He walked on his two feet. There's, there's this. Burn mark on a nearby tree caught my eye. I ran my finger around its length and felt a shield down my spine. This wasn't just any burn mark. This was the burn mark of an ancient magic. It's doubtful that the cops would have picked up on it. Could Lily have been right? Something unnatural was at play here. But I was no stranger to the strange. After looking around for a while, I realized the park had given up all it was hiding from me. So I trudged back to my apartment and my head hit my pillow like it owed me money. Alright. The next morning I was reeling from another bout of ghoulish nightmares. But I tried to have my discomfort when I saw Lily was already sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly as I unlocked the door and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office. I motioned her to step inside, seemingly afraid of what I might say. She finally worked up the courage to ask. So, what did you find? Probably sound like a bitch. <laughs> Well, I've got good news and bad news. Well, I got some good news. I probably shouldn't have given her false hope like that, but she seemed like she needed something to hold on to right then. She didn't need to know about the mark on the tree. How'd you know that? Where is he? There were signs in the street and he slipped away. My tone was indifferent towards her. As I turned and grabbed the bottle from my desk in the drawer, a dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. But you don't know where he went? Do you think the news is this morning is related? What news was that? Oh, haven't you heard? <laughs> Yeah, but maybe you should tell me something. Maybe, blah, blah, blah. yeah, but maybe. No, rough night followed a rather rough morning. They found the police chief's wife dead down by the docks. They said it happened last night. Hmm. Let me guess. Chief Amato is missing too. My face might have betrayed a hint of satisfaction as she confirmed my suspicion, but it faded quickly. Amato was a shit cop and a shit chief. He was half the reason I left the force, but now his wife was dead and I had more questions than I did the day before. The gears in my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain in my temples. I told Lily I needed time to work and she left slightly dejected, wanted more answers than I could provide. Then after the cops had cleared out the docks, I would have slipped down and see what I uncovered concerning Mr. Amato's ultimately demise. Okay. The cold air smells strongly of salt and oil. Well, of course, you're in a dock. That, no shit, Sherlock. Could it be? That smell again, like someone had bottled pure arousal and used it as perfume. It hit me for a long, forgotten memory, but the sensual fumes gave me away with a rush of adrenaline. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of, and that scared me more than not knowing. I looked down at my hands, shaking. The nightmares. The headaches. Oh, God. No. I was better now. Reformed. Crap. I had to 
focus. No jumping to conclusions. Follow the evidence. Investigate the scene. Alright. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Red Phoenix cigarettes. Those are cigarettes? Red Phoenix cigarettes. Same city brand I smoke every day. Everybody's got their vice. There's this thing right here, but that can be normal. What, what, what's here? What's here? What? The, I, I'm looking not at the screen. What's here? There. Just there. The smallest piece of purple fabric torn and cut from the splinter board. Oh my god. The police report didn't say anything about Mrs. Amato wearing a purple. And it was certainly of a quality that you didn't wouldn't expect down here. Don't see too many high society types around flaunting royal purple dreads. Treads. Beds. I pulled out my own pack of reds and lit it up. I could already feel another headache coming on, but looking out over the waves seemed to help me forget. The cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been building up in the top of my brain. So this entire game is like this. There's nothing more to it. This isn't even a game. Like, it's fine by me the entire. But like, is there is there more to it? Like, I want to I want to be surprised. Or at least you could have added like voice dialogue. If not, then why is this advertised as a? Um, horror game on Steam. Or maybe I read wrong. I honestly don't remember walking back to the office. Apparently I spent the night in my easy chair. The air from the docks lingered in my clothes. It was still dark out. No, I checked the clock. How long had I been out? Had I really slept through the entire next day? The newspaper was sitting under the door as I stood to fetch it. I nearly fell over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure before I even picked up the paper. I could already read the headline. Mayor missing what I found dead. <coughs> Two cases is a coincidence. Three is a pattern. The cops could come asking questions soon. Then I knew the history of antagonizing all the victims. I stumbled to my desk and slammed back three days worth of inhibitor pills. I couldn't take any chances. I had to investigate the scene for sure. I threw my jacket on and went out the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. Jack, where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. I I'm, I'm sorry, Lily. But I don't have time to talk. I have to go. Uh, oh, okay. But but we need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. <sighs> is she is she she's she's really hitting on me. Is is she like is she like a demon? Is she the succubus or something like that? Okay. She gave me a soft kiss on the cheek. As I rushed off, part of me wanted to stay and tell her, Hey, baby, it'll be alright. But it would be a lie. Oh, no. How many chapters are there in here? Hey. The alley was just located just behind the high-rise apartments where Mayor Vinetti and his wife lived. I could tell the police were spooked now. The crime scene was even sloppier than the last. They hadn't even bothered to submit the trash into evidence. Why wouldn't they at least look through the dumpster? It seemed untouched. No one wants to do the dirty work. But I know if I find the good stuff. Hmm. It really doesn't take long if you know what you look for. Lightweight bags usually mean there was the dumping documents. If you were lucky, they didn't bother to shred them. Jackpot. Shell companies. Shady stock trades. Bribes. I knew Marvinetti was crooked, but this was unbelievable. And there was more. Letters between Marvinetti and Chief Amato talking about me. How, how they were trying to get me shut down. They didn't like me snooping around the crime scenes all the time. 
Well, they weren't here to stop me snooping around this one, eh? Huh? They can't stop me now! Alright, what's else here? Ah, right, open door. Then Eddie's car. If he's still alive, what would he have left in his car? Didn't make any sense. Honestly, was too motivated to find him. But the stakes are too high. And my bet was edging towards the unthinkable. As I searched around for anything, I assur I assuage my fears. I caught the scent again. Ah! It overwhelmed my other senses with undulating pleasure. It was intoxicating. A weapon used to weak-willed. A weapon I knew all too well. Thought it had been many years since I had used it. Prostitutes? Is that what you used to use? Was there another like me? Was I being framed? Wait, is he a prostitute? It was impossible. Uh, was it? Uh. I was taking my inhibitors. I was reformed. But the nightmares, the headaches, the memory lapses. I couldn't even trust myself. I started walking back out the alley. When something shiny caught my eye. A watch. Not just any watch, though. My watch. How long had it been on my, my wrist bear? Surely I just dropped it when it first came down the alley. I checked the time just before I left the office, hadn't I? Or I used the wall clock. I couldn't be sure. Oh, no. I couldn't be sure of anything. Is anything worth the life? So I ran. And ran, and ran, and ran, until I reached Mexico. There I started a new life. Got kids, did a lot of cocaine, then reformed and moved to Canada. And there I lay my rest. How many chapters are there in this? I don't know why I ran back to the office. The cops would probably show up any minute to knock on the door and cart me away. <laughs> Did that make me laugh? <laughs> they put it together before long. Maybe it would be the best for everyone if I simply faced my own reflection. But Lily was still there waiting for me. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. What's this noise? Is that a <laughs> What the fuck is zombie? My own ghost come back to haunt me from the past. You're, you're not making any sense, Jack. Come. Sit down. You don't understand. You're not safe around me. I took a good last look at her. I, I preferred my. I took a good last look at her as I prepared to shove her out the door. I noticed she was wearing the same thing she had when she first came into the office three days ago. A beautiful purple dress. Ah, oh, that I really didn't notice it before. It made her seem out of place at a time. And it was frayed out around the edges, torn in places. My chair caught in my fall, all my knees failed me. It, it was you. You're the monster. Succubus. <laughs> I, I said it what, like four chapters ago? That, that she was a succubus? And that's why she kissed me on the cheek? She's trying to kill me now? Oh, Jack, we are one and the same. You and I, we are both monsters. I'm simply more honest with myself. There's no such thing as reformation. Those pills only make you dull. Beasts like us should never suppress our true natures as you have, Incubus. Mmm. This feels like Ghostbusters. She's telling me, <laughs> are you the key master? And I'm telling her, are you the gatekeeper? And then we just kind of, you know, 
<laughs> Those men were probably dead now, I figured. She probably took them to her lair and harvested her seed. Ew! <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So you've done all this just to wake me up? You could say that. Though it seemed enough just to have you doubt yourself. Did you believe you were still capable of such horrors? Which means deep down, you probably are. But you can't escape it. Now I need you to complete the deed. You, you took my watch. You messed with my head. You were the one who wet in my sheets. Oh, don't act like that. I didn't do you a favor. Those men hated you and wanted you gone. And now they're gone. Shit. I mustered the strength and I am, I am utterly... Oh my god. Uh, moving casually to the window by the corner. She was right about one thing. I was dull weak compared to her. If I refused her, she attacked me. I was a dead man. I had to keep talking. <laughs> oh please, that's a 14th century stereotype. I don't discriminate when it comes to pleasure of the flesh. Oh. But I still do need an incub incubus like yourself to take tainted seed I've harvested. From those awful men and planted among fertile masses for me. Wow. 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 I'm tired of draining my lovers just to survive. I'm ready to settle down, start a family. <laughs> myself directly making sure I was looking in my direction sorry but I'm not your guy oh with a quick flick of my wrist I whipped the old bed sheet off with the corner mirror whatever that it does Lily was blinded by her own reflection and sucked into the mirror with a painful monster scream trapped shielding my own eyes I pulled a revolver from my desk side drawer aimed at the mirror shoot <laughs> And fired. And I guess that's it. Yep, that's it. Yep, okay. Well, that was this. Thanks for watching. No, but for real, that's a monster inside it's an artificial novella. I honestly thought that we'd have more. I don't know. Spectacles, maybe some animations or something occurring apart from not even seeing the characters or anything. So, very interesting, pretty fun, short as you can see. But eh, if you want to check it out, it's on Steam. I forgot I was about to say it's on Twitch, it's on Steam. But yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, like for more, and remember, stay spooky. <laughs>